Hello, thank you for joining me again. This is the third episode of the course on the gift of prophecy or the prophetic for all. And uh, thank you very much for also doing your homework <laughs> because it's really important with these clips that uh, that you do your part in seeking the Lord. Don't be passive in just watching these. Um, we've spoken about just a simple definition of the prophetic, which is to speak the heart and the mind of God, speaking out the heart and mind of God. We've looked at uh, biblical confirmation that we all can really prophesy of Jesus our Lord and um, and if we are uh, his sheep we can recognize his voice and then also we looked at the counterfeit which do exist because the prophetic is precious and holy and useful and uh, that Satan has a reason why he wants to give it a bad name because it's such an effective tool to extend God's kingdom so um, the reasons why we prophesy is very close to my heart. I'm so uh, I'm so pleased that the Bible is so clear about them, because often it's the reason why we do something that will continue motivating us to do that thing. Also, it's a good way to weigh up when we receive the prophetic or give the prophetic and say. Is this what it was made for? Because we know that if something is used for a purpose that it wasn't made for, it's called abuse, drug abuse, child abuse. Uh, and uh, so in that sense, uh, we, we want to know why we should prophesy. And uh, the first reason that's very obvious, and it's the reason why we breathe, is to bring glory to God's name. So prophecy is a tool to glorify God. How does it um, happen that it glorifies God? Well, um, one of the ways is that the Holy Spirit brings a revelation of Jesus. We look at the book of Revelation, which is a, um, a, a, a book in the Bible, the last book in the Bible, about it's a revelation of Jesus Christ given to the Apostle John. And somewhere, in, like in Revelation 19 verse 10, uh, uh, an angel actually says that, the spirit of prophecy is a revelation of Jesus, a testimony of Jesus. It speaks of Jesus. So every single prophecy we receive, every single prophecy we give, are not necessarily going to say Jesus is like this or that, or Jesus is saying this or that. But it's going to make us turn to him. It's going to make us be wow by him. It's going to, there's going to be the sound of his voice, the shepherd's voice coming through. So, um, uh, uh, and another way that prophecy glorifies God is predictive prophecy when it comes true. So that is the interesting one in the Old Testament. I love the way that God says, I'm saying it and I'm going to do it. And then you can't say some other idol amongst you did it. There's so many times it speaks about God predicting an incident. And then when it happens, people say, he is right. God was right all along. God's had this all along and God can give glory not just because he predicted it, because it, he proves that way, that he did it. And in the same way, way with the prophetic, sometimes we really want a nice word concerning the future, you know, like really want to know the day Jesus is coming back and then everyone will be, wow, you know, she was right, you know, he was right. No, prophecies know that, not so that predictive prophecies, no, that's not so that people will say she was right or he was right, so that they will say he is right. He said it and he did it. Glory to his name. My favorite story with that was um, many years ago, I was just uh, I'm reading a book. I think it's the first time I've read a book on, on dreams. And I said, Lord, give me a dream tonight, please. And that night, I dreamt about these friends of mine that has been married for 12 years at that point, couldn't have children, and uh, have had three, four different reasons from medical, medical reasons why they couldn't have children. But in the dream... My friend um, announced in front of the church that she was 50 days pregnant. And when I woke up from that, I was like, it feels like it really happened. I'm that excited. And uh, that what helped me was uh, we're very close and we've often prayed for her to have children. I knew she had faith for it. I knew God has spoken to her in other ways. So usually we would be very careful with bringing a word like that. Um, but in this situation, it was right in God and I shared it with her and she was so excited with me and um, that was in November towards the end of November they went away on a holiday when her doctor came back from holiday early January um, it was about three days before we had our first church service again 
and the doctor said you're 47 days pregnant and she could announce to the church that she was 50 days pregnant it literally happened to the day and uh um, that's amazing. That's a little Emmy Aselli, Andrew and MC's daughter, is now 14 and a constant reminder that there's many other promises that God made to that couple that he's still going to fulfill. So watch that space. But in that sense, there was such an important, it was such an important part, that and the other prophetic words. No one asked on that day, did some specialist do something really well? Did Andrew eat the right amounts of asparagus did um you know did, did what did you guys do for no everyone said god said it god did it glory to his name um, and it's wonderful when god gets the glory even when doctors and everyone was involved in this case there wasn't um but god gets the glory when we allow him to say it when he declares it and then when he does it so another reason um why we prophesy is another reason, another way that it brings glory to God's name, prophecy brings glory to God's name, is that prophecy builds up its body. It brings his body into unity. And what brings, I mean, that is really what brings glory to God on this earth is when his church shines. So the next episode, we'll look at the other reasons why we, we prophesy. I want to I wanna spend time on these because it's really important but remember, as you um, eagerly desire the prophetic gift, that it's a gift to glorify God. If you get something concerning the future and it's fulfilled, it's not that people go, wow, she's right. You know, demons can get it right. They can guess right. You know that that um, spiritists and mediums and astrologers sometimes get it right. But the prof prophecy is not so that we can be admired is so that he can be admired, so that people can go, wow, God said it, God did it. So people can say, wow, Jesus is so good. Jesus is so pure. It's so that he, to his, can turn on to him. So prophecy should always make us look at Jesus, make us love him more. I love Hebrews 1 where it says in the um, past, God spoke in many different ways through the prophets, many different ways. In these last days, he will speak to us through his son. So do you want that? Do you want that? Do you want God to speak through his son? Do you want the son to speak through you? Do you want God to be glorified through you? Let's pray. So, Lord Jesus, keep reminding us of that reason why we prophesy. That it's not to try and look spiritual, it's not to try and impress people, but it's to glorify your name, Lord. So, purify our motivations, God. Purify our motivations. When we're lazy to eagerly desire the spiritual gift, to pursue hearing your voice for others, Lord, that we'll be reminded that it's a tool to bring great glory to your name, that we shouldn't neglect the gifts of the Spirit because they are to glorify, they're there to glorify your name. So Jesus, even um, until we watch the next episode, Lord, I pray that you will use us, use us, make us sharp in the prophetic. Um, Lord, thank you that you will tell us things um, that only you can do, Lord, and that as they are fulfilled, that great glory will come to your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Till next time.